started. Okay, good. Hey, okay. hi everybody. How are you? Uh, what did I start? Like two, three minutes late? My bad. I'm trying to rein it in. I'm getting better with my time management skills. I had to look at the clock and then realize what time it was and close out a series of files that you guys can't see. And then I needed to make sure that my software was set up for OBS and get everything going. Because, you know, that's what I do. I try to be a little um, proactive and as opposed to reactive. And, you know, that's just... What do you do there? Well, let's see. Okay, so, so what we're going to do today is we are going to work on the Manalix poster. What? That's right. We're going to work on the Manalix poster. I hope you're ready because I don't care about that. Stop with that. I guess Facebook updated. I just want to get to my page and then use it so I can see what I'm doing here. That's what I want to do. I want to do, I want to do that. Can I do that? Would that be okay? I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to integrate both pages. You know, they're trying to make it so that if you have a gig page and a regular page that the two, you can just flip between the two. And and it's good. It's I mean, it's a cool thing, but kind of at the wrong time. And it's on me. Again, time management skills. I should have opened this up, taken a look, and I didn't. And then I opened it, and they're like, hey, man, we, um, we updated some stuff. You cool? Uh, no, we are not cool. So let's do this then. Throw a guide here. Throw a guide here. Throw a guide here. Nope. Line it up again. Let's do it again. And line a guide here. Come on. I'm used to the Adobe shortcuts, which sometimes they're spot on here and other times they're not. So what I'll do is I'll just, you know, no, you don't know. What I'll do is I'll. Um, just use the tools directly. Now this is to represent where that image box is. No? Why did it not do that? Because I'm on the guide layer, and the guide layer won't won't let me do that. So let's go to panels layer, because that's where I normally do those things. Yup, see. When you are on the guide layer, it will not allow you to do anything to it, because that layer is um that layer is just for guides, man. It's just for guides. So now. I will save. Look at that. So I'm looking over here. And, um, how's everybody's day? Is everybody having a good day? Oh, dude. My keyboard is doing that thing again. taking advantage of the fact that I can be here in this program and I can hop over to other programs 
and all you the way I have my OBS set up, you guys can only see the screen. So I'm me doing some stuff. What? So we did some things. And there's some stuff that I need to do to the poster. Like I need to add in some fonts, I need to add in some copy. So I think that that is something I can do. Mm. Boop. And I'll close that out. Okay. No, let's not do that. Again, the keyboard not responding. No bueno. Um, let's go here because I think I had something. I had some stuff going on. Let me just figure out the best layout, the best possible layout. Now, where did we decide the hexadecimal? Zero, one, two, three, four. Right here. It's bamboo, is what it is. Or do I need to go and... Caps lock. I just downloaded bamboo and installed it. And it doesn't show that it's showing off. Could be one of those CC fonts or something like that. There's sometimes there's fonts that are like ITC in front of it or CC or it's it's usually brought about because of uh, the company that creates it and um, or the studio, and the family that it belongs to. There's a bunch of different things that go into the naming convention of a font. And, um, I know sometimes you can just look the fonts up. Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. I love you too. My lovely wife asking for my water bottle. She 
she wants to drink my water. Which I'm cool with. You know, we share water and stuff. One of us has to drink it, that's right. My wife is the snark master general in this relationship. She does really well in that position. Okay, so maybe we don't. Hmm. Okay, maybe. No, I'm going to have to eyeball this. Because I really haven't measured it. Why would I have to eyeball that? The poster is not divided into four sections. Use the original artwork as a guide, and the world is your oyster. Ta da! The reason why I'm doing that is because there's going to be some stuff going on there. It's going to be. Um, four different scenes, one in each corner of the the background square. And it's going to imply that Manalix and Daniel Pacina's character, Sanke, are going to um, they're going to fight all of those characters in there. Um, is that oh yeah, I do. Right. So we need to go here. I'm getting so upset with the zero. One, zero, 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 zero. Four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's going to be my current campaign. I don't want to spell his name wrong. So I'm going to go and refer to my notes. I think it's in scripts. Script. Yes, it's P-E-S-I-N-A. Okay. You definitely don't want to mess up somebody's name. You don't want to, especially the name of Cena. You want to make that Flatten me. Do I need that sort of stress in my life? No. Alright. What? That's just uncalled for. You got a lot of stuff up here. A lot. Like I know that there are certain fonts that are used on labels that is uh yup, that's the font. Uh there's a commercial typeface used on labels that is Helvetica Bold Condensed. And I know that on movie posters, it's Franklin Gothic Bold. Um, 
Yep, Franklin Gothic. So it's like a, they're like a good two point distance from the border of that to me. It's like the original poster. Which layer do I have that on? Mr. Conker. You know what? I think I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this. here down and the reason for that being that um, the reason for that being that the way that the image flows it kind of makes like a crescent it sounds dumb and you know to one degree or another maybe it is but you know I'm doing this not you so Now that I have the now that I have the um, guides in place, oh no! Now that I have the guides in place, I'm going to use them to make sure that I get the font the right size and the right placement. That works. There are treatments I want to give to the typefaces that are just, I can only do so much. So, how about sketch copy and paint with ink? Since probably ink so out, pull the sketch copy out, and we'll take a look at what we got on the Master Killer poster. This is nuts. My keyboard's just not doing what I want it to. Poster BG. There we go. Now that I finally labeled the layer. So what I'm going to do is uh, they'll be fighting some characters and I just want to kind of give myself a little bit of reference as to what's going to go in there. that as a placeholder, figure placeholder, or what we like to call an FPO. See how that goes. Just gonna quit out of some stuff and go over here and do that. Okay. So I know that they show Master Killer like fighting a bunch of dudes over here. But I'm gonna, I think if I do it this way, is the characters that he's going to be fighting have yet to be introduced, and they also need to be. They also need to be designed. So. Can't be drawing characters in there that haven't even come to reality. Like they haven't been made yet. How do I put them in there? I can't.
I guess we're just going to do that one. So, this. The purpose is to lay out those little small areas. And one of the great things about working digitally is that I can zoom in, I can zoom out. I can leave. It's basically notes for myself, really, like these, what I'm doing here. So when I go in and I start to actually work and get this stuff. I mean, that's really what thumbnails are. They're more or less visual notes for yourself. Like, when you read a recipe card, it's like that. Except uh, a little more detailed notes you leave yourself, the better your recipe will be, and the end result will turn out a little better. You know? So. The tighter these thumbnails are, the easier it'll be when I go to set these pages up. Well, not set the pages up, but uh, go in and sketch. You know? It's good for me to have. Could be my Alex, could be Sanke. Like that. 
until that. Brainstorming. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to go. Do my sketch on three. Yes, we'll apply the transformation. Do you see that? Alright, so this one. I figure out how it's going to go. Maybe I can switch. I'll do this. And My keyboard isn't working properly, so I have to kind of keep the stuff in mind. I just did. It's frustrating to say the least. I go back to a point where I did not match those. I have to go back in time. should work, right? It implies a whole bunch of things. Okay. 
Let's make a screen then. Let's see, it's in the way here. That's fine. Kick. Turn off that, and it's gonna look like all hell's breaking loose. Okay. Those are the problems. Look at them go. Um, I guess that's what we're gonna do. Inks on this last night. sitting here wondering to myself, why aren't those inks showing up at a darker value? Hmm. Possibly because, you know, you're on the wrong layer. Maybe digital artists worst nightmare. But not really. There's a dangle. Sketch to post a very crude nice device. Bring this down. Back up. Just like that. We'll come back to this. So where are my links? It's really like you'll see specs of oh, because that's open. Oh, no, 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 no. You'll see specs of white because the color isn't getting into where I want it to, and it's getting into where the computer is allowing it to because the, it'll only go to closed shapes. And if I don't have closed shapes, like, see how it does that. Because that shape's not closed. It's not closed on the layer that I'm referencing it to. If I go to that layer and I do that, see how it's open at the bottom there? It's open all along here. That makes the shape open. Now, it doesn't matter if I take the panels layer and open that. It doesn't matter. The shape needs to have an opening. It needs to just be closed. It needs to be a closed shape. Otherwise, it just doesn't recognize it. It's fickle. Fickle. paying attention right now anyway. It's okay. Who knows? Maybe it's entertaining to people who do watch. Maybe they're like, I like when he gets 
That's why I have to talk to him. I'm cool with it either way. As I'm working, I, the light for the room is in the ceiling, and my graphic tablet is adjusted so that the camera goes over it, and it's I get a lot of glare. I have to move occasionally. I'll take a look and be like, oh, I can't see. The light's blinding me. I'm part vampire. I cry a lot. Not that vampires can't cry. You know, I've got nothing against vampires. <laughs> I've never met a bad vampire before. I've never met a vampire. What's that, babe? Oh, I've met a lot of energy vampires. Look at that right there, that's great. Another thing you can do is use the lasso tool and knock that stuff out. Yeehaw! I made a promise to my wife that every time I used the lasso tool, I would say yeehaw. <laughs> and if nothing else, I'm a man of my word. Yep, there we go. Okay. Yeehaw! Lasso tool. Yeehaw! I'll be your Huckleberry. Val Kilmer. It's weird. Did I just say hey, good Val Kilmer, Huckleberry? He just made a reference to Tombstone. Which Val Kilmer is in. Plays Doc Holliday, who has tuberculosis and is dying, and decides that he will help the Earps clean up Tombstone, but he will also drink himself to death, which, you know, I wouldn't do. Did a lot of drinking when I was younger, but. One thing that's all drinking myself to death. Some of those I'm foolish like that. Mm. I kind of like me. I'm a fan. My wife's a fan of mine. I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. She's a fan of mine. So, what I'm doing here is I'm taking care of the flats. So it gives you a better sense of what's going on. Typically, you would do the flats, like, dead last. You would do, like, all of your inks, and you get everything in place, and then you would clean things up, and then you would do your flats. But I got you guys breathing down my neck. Oh, do you want to see flats? <sighs> Okay, if it'll shut you kids up. I'm like a dad. I'm like the worst dad. 
Well, not the worst ad. I'm sure Charles Manson would have been bad. Did he even have kids? Charles Manson's got kids. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm looking at this and going, why am I overlapping the panel border with flats? My answer to that is that my panel, I'm going to put on the layer now, Holy doofy. My answer to that is that um, everything works like a see-through piece of plastic would. S tape. I mean, panel layer here, flats above it. So when I put the flats down and they overlap the panel, that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the colors. You're not gonna see the panel border. So you're gonna bring the panel border above it. That's why it's gonna be kids, you know. Be good at keeping a lot of plates in the air. Now, one way for me to avoid all those white spots is to adjust the. Um, let's just go over here. I'll show you what it is. See the area scaling? If I were to increase that four or five, it would allow for the paint bucket to go out into that many pixels beyond where it's sensing. Does that make sense? I feel like it makes sense. I'll tell you what does make sense, the fact that I just messed up this uh, wrist guard. Boop. That's super good. My glasses are dirty. It's starting to look a little foggy. So I'm getting excited, I guess. I'm not getting excited. I just noticed that between the glare of the overhead light and my screen reflecting, you know, I got a little bit of, uh, got a little bit of issue here. Oh, it's locked. See that right there? Look for stuff like that. Anywhere you see a little white speck, that's a problem. There's an issue there, so you gotta fix it before you put it up on screen. And somebody sees it and they're like, What's with that little white pixel there? Sloppy pants. Then you have to stutter. Uh, okay, um, I, uh, what? I don't... I, I, um... Because life is always like a sitcom. You should always stutter and have a laugh track handy. Now the other color that I had was skin tone. I 
don't need to tap my stylus as hard as I do. I just I have a tiny ego and I need to show this key. I need to show this graphic tablet who's boss. I don't have a tiny ego. I'm just moving too fast and I'm tapping it a little too hard. It takes a little more self-control. Your equipment will last longer, and I'm sure the screen will thank me for it in, in its longevity speech at retirement. Thank you for this gold watch. I have to thank Ed Smith for not jabbing me in the face with the stylus every day. It doesn't get retired. What are you talking about? This thing lasts for 20 years of service. I'll buy it a gold watch. <laughs> Second look at that. Okay. Okay. You say it, but you just don't mean it. Looks like I have a message. Let's see what my message says. Oh yeah. You are the man. What is that layer? This layer up here in the corner. Why am I touching the screen? You guys aren't near me. You can't see what I'm talking about. So there's that corner. And then let's turn this on. There's this stuff. Okay, do this. Merge that down. Okay, you're all doing it. So merge with layer below. We'll drop this to about 19%. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Now, if you get a sense, let me turn off this damn casino layer. If you get a sense of the flow of this, okay, see how it looks there in the foreground, all dynamic, ready to go. And then in the background, you see all these battles just going on where they're just like fighting. You don't see who they're beating. You don't see if they're getting beaten by anybody else. You just see that they're fighting and they're ready to go. And then in the foreground, you see them and they're ready to go. That's what I'm talking about. And then we got these here. These are the title sequences. And then all of this, this whole page. I'm going to take the whole page and I'm going to tone it so it looks like it's stained paper. And I even have some brushes that I can use along the edge to make it look rough. So it will look like an aged movie poster, which I am freaking out about because I finally get my shot to make something look like an aged movie poster. I've seen it get done. I've had people do it for me. I've never done it myself. Now I'm doing it. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. So let's... What time is it? 6.52? Paper. Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, this keyboard is just frustrating the crap out of me. I know I have paper textures because that was one of the first things I that was one of the first things I did when I when I first started playing around in um, Clip Studio Paint. I went looking and I was like, oh wow, there's paper in here. Half -tone, plaid. Did I favorite anything? No, I didn't favorite anything. None of you are my favorites. 
you're all equally pathetic. That's how I treated my materials. That's not how I treat my materials. And there is a paper that I used, and you know, once or twice, where the, and these are the textures. Cotton duvet. You're a cotton duvet. I find that that's actually a hilarious insult. If you ever catch me in public, that's the stuff I do. You're a cotton duvet. That doesn't make any sense. You're a cotton duvet. You're a cotton duvet. There are some brushes I found. Some 3D stuff. Wow, there is a lot. And here it is. Watercolor, burlap, canvas. There's a search field in the download section. I don't think there's like a watercolor paper or a drawing paper. Japanese paper. What? Let's uh, do something about that. Material cannot be completely downloaded from the cloud. We want to start Clip Studio and download it. Was a bear crap in the woods? Apparently, I started downloading it. Let me boost it up to 100 again because I messed with the opacity just now. It's a little too rough. So let's do that. And we can go to the effect mode. No, let's do this. I think. That might be a layer mask, but it's not. Let's convert layer from gray to monochrome. OK. Ooh, that's gorgeous. And then we go from convert layer monotone, monochrome to color. Can you say that one more? <laughs> Your monochrome. <laughs> what? That's horrible. What is that? Some sorry. That Weird transformers joke. <laughs> Alright, so you see how I have the opacity set? Yeah, great. Good job. Set it to number one. We can do this. Multiply. Or color burn. So you can't see it now. But you're going to see it. So what it does is it multiplies on the layer. Um, if I were to take a color, see something like that, and apply it, what? I couldn't? Why is that? Oh, because it's set as a 3D object, as a, as a vector object. So, now it's a raster layer. Now I can do something silly, like color it and then bring up that value. So what this is going to do is it's going to make though it's going to make whatever's under it look as though it's um it's got like a little texture to it. Turn off the lures view That has to be a way to sure turn off the light. That's a way to turn off those guides. There it is. Look at that. You just click on the guide layer, shut it off. I know there were 
brushes in Photoshop that I had. Illustrator, I think they're not Illustrator. Um, Clip Studio Paint. The reason why I ask is because um, if I can, that would be great. If I can bring the brushes from Photoshop into Clip Studio, this would allow me to do the roughing and the making, the antiquing. It would just make it go so much better. Whatever. Um, what is it? 659? It's 659. Okay. Um, ambitious time. That's text. head looks like. Let's go to, was it the first one? Did I pop his head out on the first one? I did. I think I did it. I did not do it on the second one. I know it comes out on the third one. Because I remember having that conversation about his head. Um, Oh man, I just realized something. When I did the fourth strip, I was supposed to do something and I didn't do it. Well, I, I had the intent to do something and I didn't do it. But, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Play this. Push through. Open up. What I'm doing here is I'm opening up one of the other files so that I can reference Mary Alex's head. Thanks. Johnson wrote there. And he's like, Are you serious? You didn't come at us?
typical like, hero fix where it's a little bit squared off. Because up until now, we've seen Manalix's face in the Lee's mask. Tell you, one of the things I love doing is giving characters cow legs. <laughs> I don't know what my deal is. I think it's ever since I was a kid and I watched the Flintstones and Fred and Barney had that chunkin cow lick at the back of their heads. Like I've loved drawing them. Like I, you know, I have a disease, I guess. There's just a disorder for drawing cow licks. This guy's drawing cowards. What the heck's wrong with him? Am I making Manalix look a little bit handsome? Yes, but there's a reason for that. I feel as though if I were to make this poster and I made just Daniel Piscina handsome, it's a rugged looking guy, let's be honest. If I would have made Daniel Piscina the focal point, I would think that I could easily be accused of being a kiss-ass fanboy. And that is not something that I want to do. I don't want to be called a kiss-ass. I am far from sycophantic. Fanboy, yes. Kiss-ass, uh, no. In fact, I think I have that uh, George McFly disorder where, I'm sorry, Marty McFly, where, um, I don't know if you guys remember the Back to the Future movies, but if someone called him a chicken, he would go out of his way to prove opposite, and it turned out to be a downfall for him. I think in one of the movies, I think it was, they introduced the concept in like the second one, where they were like, 
oh, well, you got into that accident and you can't play guitar anymore. So yeah, if I was to recall my kiss and I saw would go out of my way to disprove that. In fact, sometimes when folks say things, I do the exact opposite just to prove them wrong. Horrible. Mm, looks like he's got some sort of head trauma. What did you do to my Alex? Well, he gets in a lot of fights. You know, it is what it is sometimes, you know. The whole clip studio painting with your amazing copy and paste. No. Tend to pay attention to my keyboard, huh? Look at that. He, he looks like he's ready to go. He was like, yeah. Oh, wow. My intent was to have him look at Daniel Pacina's character in, like, this whole, this is my mentor, let's go. But I have him now looking at the viewer. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Merge with layer below. Mm, inks copy. Inks copy. Bio Lavista. Okay. So. 11 past 7. I'm hungry. It's time for me to punch out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I noticed a few of you popped on. I encourage you to share my videos with your friends. Let them know what I'm doing. If you're a fan, hit me up. If you're not a fan and you want to degrade me, still hit me up. Interaction is interaction. It is what it is. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Any questions? Anybody want to say thanks? Whatever. Thank you. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night.